back to Food and Arty here at 2000 Trees Festival 2023 and we're bringing you everything that's going on here, all the bands, all the coverage, you name it, it's right here. Welcome back to Food Nights UK. I'm here with one of the big buzz bands this year, Dreamstay. Hello. 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 I write that first and then I put guitars after. Yes, right. <laughs> I'll talk to you off camera about it, but I'm, I'm actually, my band's making our new record and we're actually yeah. doing it the other way around. We're a dance act so it's getting guitars from rock bands. Oh, sick. Involved, involved. So anyway, that's another nerdy talk for another nerdy time. <laughs> but uh, yes, sir, how's it going? You've had quite the year, haven't you? You're quite busy, yeah. <laughs> we haven't even hit a year yet. We went live last October. Right. Yeah. So we're not even a year. We've no team. And everything is insane. Wow. Like, Are you fully self? Self DIY. Yeah, DIY, yeah. yeah. That's no manager, way. no booking agent. And here we are playing most festivals this summer. Yeah. It's nuts. Hit the ground running. Thanks to their platform. Yeah. Yes. Right. I'll tell you what, um, the other band I compare it to in your drum is yeah, Lake Malice, who like the same sort of thing, sort of just come out of nowhere and then just boom, mm. playing everywhere. Which is a, it's a wonderful thing. I think British metal at the moment is in such good state, isn't it? Yeah, there's a good wave of uh, bands coming through. It's been a tidal wave, hasn't it? It's, it's, uh, it's a sea change from like a couple of years ago. There wasn't, like, there was bits and pieces going on, like, a couple of years ago, but nothing like what's happened this summer. There's so much diversity. It's mm. so, yeah. so, so eclectic About as well. About time. Yeah. I've been in this scene for ages, and it's nice. I've never seen so many girls play festivals. Oh, absolutely. It should have been how it was ten years ago. Absolutely. I would say, of all my interviews this summer, 60-40 to yeah, the girls. Good. That's great. Yeah, which is great. Yeah. It's wonderful, because... I, I could I, I could listen to death metal again and talk about death metal things, but um, I I'm loving the diversity. I'm loving the eclecticism in the music and the fact that certain bands have um, sort of opened doors by young bands saying, oh well, they got away with throwing away the rule book, so let's all throw away the rule book yeah. every way, yeah. which is awesome. It's an awesome thing. Absolutely. So, that's your band. Um, just one thing that really hits home hard uh, is not only is it like lush electronics and all that, but the guitars are huge too. And you've got that anthemic nature to the choruses. And is that something you, you, you work towards having those big choruses, the set pieces? Yes, I'm always, whenever I'm writing, I'm always imagining how it's going to sound live or you know, what are people going to be doing in life. So, like, for some songs, if I'm thinking, right, I want, to, I want to write a song where people are jumping up and down. So I will jump up and down in my room thinking, okay, so this is, this is what, the, this oh, is going to be the tempo of the song. So right, it's 138 BPM, so I'll write a song to that one. And, uh... Perfect, perfect. Oh, it just breaks tempo. It's kind of, you just can't make it. <laughs> yeah, 138 does work. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yes, it's very, it sounds like it's, it's made to be heard live. Yeah. It's, it's very, you can see crowds jump into it. You know? Yeah. I mean, in the same way when I first heard Linkin Park, you know, it's kind of hit me immediately. Like, you know, this is made for stadium, so this is big. And they're one of my favourite bands, so, like, right, yeah, well, big, they big inspo from them. Well, that's the first band that came to mind when I heard you guys was like, like a female fronted Linkin Park, but heavier. Yeah. yeah I'll take that. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. That's it, a real good compliment. That, I, 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 so I find myself getting these right sometimes. <laughs> Um, yeah, so what's the plan for the rest of the year? We've got um, busy, busy schedule across the summer of festivals. We're back to back this month, aren't we? Yeah, so um, we're playing, uh, we've got a headline show in Nottingham next Friday on the 14th of July. Cool. Uh, then play Make a Scene Festival uh, the 15th of the day after. Uh, radar Festival. Oh, you're at Radar? Yeah. Wonderful, I'll see you On there. the Saturday, I think. 
Wonderful. And we're main supporter, Heart of a Coward, who are one of my favourite bands. Oh, come on now. I opened to them like 10 years ago. Brilliant. In like older bands. Yeah. So to be like their main support, I feel like I've, I feel like I've made it. Oh. I'm like, I've made it. Yeah, that's I mean, privilege. They're yeah, amazing. And Radar's a sick lineup. It's Periphery, great. Sleep Token. I mean, there's one band I'm not going to interview, obviously. Sleep Token. I just, they don't really do the No. <laughs> they just be sat there in silence. Like, amazing. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to seeing Harriet there. Harriet is wait. so awesome, yeah. yeah. So awesome. I've been lucky enough to see them twice in two weeks. Nice. They're yeah, fabulous band, fabulous band. Yeah, then we've got Burn It Down in all, uh, September. Awesome. So, Busy Bees. And they were touring Europe, UK and Ireland uh, in November. Wow. With that, as December falls. Oh, so about a, a month, yeah, with a month long tour there. That'd be fun. Amazing. It's all going, isn't it? I'm so glad that, like, UK Metal um, is just having this wonderful lease of life. They, I haven't seen one glum face all summer. Like, everyone's just like, oh, we're so excited, we're doing this. Doing that. There's a lot of exciting stuff coming out. I hopefully, we'll go to, you know, showcase some more metal in, in Dream State as the time goes on. Yes. Because that's my bag. Yeah, that's your bag. Yeah. You bring the heavy. Yeah, I bring the, I bring the heavy. <laughs> yeah, well, you've got to have your departments, haven't you? Definitely. He's like magic man who creates the magical dance music. Yes. I bring the melodies. Some yeah. words and, and the beat down. Absolutely. <laughs> the beat down. Absolutely. And on that note, I'm going to beat down this interview. Thank you so much for being on Food Night Thank UK. Thank you for us. Thanks uh, for all the great music, and I look forward to seeing you later on. See Thank you very much. Pit. See you in the pit. <laughs>
Yeah. It, and you, but I, I really like some of the earlier ones, which is quite kind of lo-fi. Do you? I like the lo-fi thing. Yeah, I'm okay. A, I'm a big fan of that sort of, uh, that style, if you like. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Bit more I'm, raw. Yeah, raw, definitely. But you can hear the, uh, when you hear, hear the breaths on the mic and all of that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I've always worked with the same producer, mm. um, but I feel like we just sort of developed together. Yeah. Which, like, he's amazing. Yeah. He is literally my sound. Yeah. I take him the most raw, like, yeah. <laughs> plonky bass and me singing along, and he's like, I, we can do this, we yeah, got this. That's all you need. Yeah, and I feel like the more we've got to know each other, the more experimental we've become. Yeah. So it's just like, keeps going and going. Soon it's going to be like an absolute mayhem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you've got. A, are, are you working towards an album? I have an EP mm -hmm. in October coming out. Awesome. It's called Scum. Yeah. Oh, nice. For all the scumbags out there. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's it's very angry EP to be fair. Yeah. yeah there's like a song called Misogynistic Dicks. And there's plenty of them around. <laughs> there's too many of them. <laughs> it's a very angry EP and it's like, I, I call my little fans my little scumbags. But there, it, the EP is like targeting the real scumbags. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. We need more angry punk rock out there. We do. There will never be enough. Technicolor angry punk yes. rock, let's face it. Because yes. you feel bringing the colour. Yes. I'm very vibrant. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> You've got to stand out. Of right? course. You've got to stand out. We're making a statement here. Although day to day, I'm like black joggers, black top. <laughs> They don't see that. <laughs> no it's one like, sees my day I today. always say it's like having a lovely television and showing it on the wires behind it. You never do that. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much, Bex, for being on Food Night at UK. Thank you for having You're an me. Absolute legend. I saw you. Boom. Peace Bex, out. Watch out. <laughs> And if you like what you see there, don't forget, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment. You know what to do, keep doing what we do. Hello, welcome back to Food and Arts UK, and we like to bring you new bands. Yes, we do. And this is Congratulations. Hello guys, Hi. how's it all going? Amazing, thank you. You having a good festival so far? Yeah, yeah phenomenal. Nice. Yeah, it's it is roasted. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, we're all feeling it. Yes. We just yeah. had a little siesta, oh. sun creamed up, you know. How very Mediterranean of you. Yeah, 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 you know, we've been on the olives. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> that's, not, that's not drugs. That's yeah. um, <laughs> we've been hitting the O's. <laughs> Ken in the O's. <laughs> Right, so um, I've only just discovered your band, but I'm glad I did. It was a photographer friend of mine who said, check this band out, and you've got everything I like in music represented there, really, because like, you've got a bit, little bit of dance flavour in there sometimes. Definitely a bit of punk in there. <laughs> Definitely a bit of uh, even endiness at times. Um, how would you describe yourselves? That's how, that's how I take it. Oh, Leah, you coined it really nicely, but you have to enunciate it, don't you? Gay alt. No. Alt. Alt. Hello. Alt. alt. Yeah, or like alternative. Alternative, right, yeah, yeah. right. Marvellous. Um, so, what's your latest track you've got out at the moment? Uh, yeah, a single called Junk. Junk. Uh, which is the first single of our EP, which is yes. coming out in September. Um, and we've got our new single coming out on Tuesday the 11th. So, awesome. Well, this coming That's Tuesday, nice. right? Hell yeah. Week. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be out by now? Yes, oh. out by now. Out by now. <laughs> Go get. <laughs> Go get. Bye. Link below. Get to know. Download. <laughs> so uh, what uh, other plans have you got for this year? Have you got more gigs coming up? Uh, what are we doing? We're doing a couple more festivals. Um, we're playing in Finland. Finland? Our first European Wow. Joint. Save your pennies for Finland. Yeah, yeah. Precisely. <laughs> Uh, yeah, what we're doing, we're yeah, releasing the EP in September, headline tour. Yeah. A headline tour? Yeah. Awesome. Are you coming through Leeds at all? We we know? Are, we're not, we're not, not hitting Leeds we this time. We're we'll uh, catching the next we're time. We're going to Newcastle. Uh, awesome. Newcastle, Manchester and Glasgow, those are the three oh, lovely. ones up that way. Oh no, that oh, way. Up that north. Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> no, that should be really good. We're really excited to go back there. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why? <laughs> Aye. <laughs> Up and it is. Right. <laughs> I'm not actually northern. I just live there. Oh, but, right. uh, okay. I'm from Essex. Yeah. <laughs> Essex. <Yeah, so is> <laughs> uh, South End. Um, anyway. Anyway, yeah, so get on it. Congratulations, you're an amazing band. We're going to ch be checking you out tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, 10 .30. Yes, we will be up with the luck to get some uh, footage of these fine specimens of musicians <laughs> jumping all over the stage and entertaining the masses. So, uh, thank you so much for being on Food Night UK. Thank you. Keep your eyes open. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to Food Night UK, day two. We're here with From Lost Alone. Mark. Mark Hello. from Lost Alone. You're the drummer from Lost Alone, aren't you? Yes, I am, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. fabulous. I was been listening to Warring Twenties. Yeah. Easy for me to say with a speech impediment. <laughs> a fantastic record. Loads of it's technical, I mean. It oh, it seems you. very cinematic. Yeah, yeah. Is it uh, yeah. is that what you're going for? Yeah, we've always liked even though it was just a three piece, we've always liked sort of big sounds, big sort of big rock guitars, loads of kind of like harmonies yeah. and stuff like that that's what the kind of stuff that we like yeah yeah awesome awesome and um am i right in saying uh Rue reynolds has got a production he did a yeah he mixed a couple of tracks on there yeah, yeah. Um, and then greg wells and um adam noble but uh yeah i love Rao. like yeah and shikari we, we lost lane tour with them yeah a fabulous of band. awesome band and it's not not your only celebrity patronage yeah obviously gerard way has been very vocal about the fact he really likes your band and, yeah yeah and he he helped produce another one of your records yeah he uh, yeah he helped produce our second record uh out in america and then we toured with mike came around that time yeah and then um, obviously recently we did a couple of shows with him it was brilliant yeah yeah it's good to see him back I'm yeah a, brilliant, I've, brilliant. I've, I've never made any bones of the fact i'm a fan of that band oh awesome yeah. um and it's funny because um when i hear you your band um i was doing an interview with keir kemp from fearless vampire yeah. killers yeah. and we were talking about and i'm sure your band probably feels the same way about putting on a show like yeah. absolutely like bringing back the four-part harmonies and like you know yeah yeah making everything very technical and you know people you know don't have a lot of money these days so they know that when they go to a show they want a show and you give it to them is that That's the intention it, definitely i mean i think it's for us it's like it's the bands that we kind of really like it's always been about that kind of massive sound big show getting like everyone involved in it and just feeling like a big rock show that, yeah. that, that's that like that's that's what we like and like like you say people save up to go to gigs and sometimes it not always because some bands vibe is to just head down and yeah. just play it and that's great as well yeah but definitely for us it's just about that kind of big show and the flamboyance yeah, of it all yeah definitely definitely and, and i think i think um, people respond really well to that these days i mean because there's um the music industry's changed to the point at the moment where the tribalism's kind of gone out the window because everyone's you know got very eclectic taste these days and certain bands like your band give other bands permission just to do whatever they want really yeah i was talking about this earlier to someone that i do i thought a few years ago the uk was very cliquey with its yeah. scenes very cliquey and like it feels like that's mellowed quite a lot it has and people are kind of like yeah i like that band but i like that band it doesn't matter that yeah. that's a hardcore band yeah and that's like an old pop band or whatever it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't matter like yeah, I mean, absolutely. We've seen like Sleep Token this year with the um, R and B bits in yeah, there and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. That would have been unheard of a few years definitely, ago. Definitely, definitely. So I think it, it's a wonderful time for British music in general because of the opening of mind. Certainly, my son's generation, he's sixteen. He comes up with because he's got the, the history of music on his phone. Yeah. You know, he's he hasn't got ten pound a month to spend on one no, record. No, you yeah. know what I mean? So yeah, you are. You, so it's all so accessible now, yeah. which is a good thing. But yeah, like you say, I think it's just, if you like it, you like it. I've always been of that, like, mm. if I like a, a band or I like a song, I like it. Yeah. I'm not going to feel, or made to feel bad because it's not, doesn't fit in with a certain yeah. genre that I should like. Absolutely. Being in a guitar band, it doesn't matter. Yeah, there are no guilty pleasures. There's no, only pleasures. There no, exactly. There's only pleasures. Talking of pleasure, we are Food in Arty UK and I've got it on all pretty good authority that you you don't you quite like the spice i do yeah right do, yeah. that's good because all some festival we are sponsored by little flame hot sauces these have gone down very well so i'm hoping to continue we have some 
tortilla strips here if you'd like to pick a tortilla strip. Yep. And I'll do one as well. Now, how spicy are you feeling? I've got different degrees. I don't know. Hit, right, we start me. at mango and sp scotch bonnet with right. the man mangoes mad. That's a very fruity number, quite tart. Yeah. And then we've got the Glasgow Kiss, which is uh, Scotch Bonnet and KN. That's kind of in between. And then yeah. we've got the Reaper one, which, okay. which is uh, the... Is it ridiculous? Well, it's called the Belfast Banshee. Right, yeah. But it's very tasty. Yeah. Do you want to try it? Let's try it. Go. You don't have to sing, do you? Anytime I soon? do, actually, yeah. Oh, right, okay. Well, I'll let you do, do your own dab. I'll have a dab, you have a dab. This is a good wake-up fuel, because this is our first interview of the day, so we're going to wake up a little bit. There we go. I've been experimenting with putting Reapers in coffee. We Watch this space, right. There it is again. Really good flavour. And then, comes up the back and... It's, the flavour's nice though. No, it's not too wild for a Reaper one, is it? No, it's like... Sometimes the really hot ones just don't taste of anything. That's it. But that actually tastes nice. Absolutely. Well, we're, we're all about flavour first. Yeah. I would say, like, you know, anyone can make something hot. Yeah. But to make something tasty takes skill. That's nice. Yeah, I can feel it. I like that. I like that. There you go. Little Flame Hot Sauces. You're doing really well this week. <laughs> really well. Right. So I'm really looking forward to watching your band. Oh, cool. And yeah. smash it up and hit see that album live I'm looking forward to it man brilliant lovely thanks nice. for being on food night nice to meet you mate nice to meet you. <laughs>
we just basically had too many songs to fit on the album for last year. That's not so bad, we just started not throwing them out as single now. You know? That's, that's a good problem to have. Exactly. So, you know, we've got another one coming out in September. Awesome. You know, keep the content flowing. Keep, you know. And it's still on the road good. for the rest of the year? Yeah, we're on tour again um, next month. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In August, we hit the UK thing. Or yeah, just UK. We're, we're, we're doing four dates yeah. in support of the new single. Awesome. Uh, we're going Nottingham, Glasgow, Newcastle, and Manchester. Right. So, you know, you know. Right. Cool. Just, uh, I'm gonna try, I'm just trying to get around to the Manchester one. Yeah. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Give us a give us a call. <laughs> we'll do. We'll do. That wasn't me going for a guest list. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> but you know. <laughs> <laughs> well. okay. we'll sort you out. Yeah. It depends whether you ruin me with these hot sauces or not. Right. Well, I'm glad you reminded me. Right. <laughs> we do have a job to do here. We have sponsors to appease. So. Obviously. We'll, we'll, we'll try with this. Right, the mango. We'll start off low and go up. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, why not? Bit of scotch bonnet and mango. And so the mango look, sounds amazing. Yeah, this, this one's been a big hit with people this weekend. So oh, like, interesting. Like this is tort tortilla strip. This is a good idea. Yeah, I had to find a good vessel. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I can't be giving away fried chicken every time, so. No. Right. This, was a, this was a good idea. I was thinking it was going to be like nachos or something. No, no nachos will bust in my bag. See? Yeah, that's right. Uh, always thinking. Right, so. There we go. No, I'll, oh, yeah, I'll, you, I'll put, I'll put, put some myself. Own, your own. I trust my own hand as opposed to a. Uh... Oh, yeah? There you go. So, this is the Mango's Mask by oh, Little Flame Hot Sauce. Banging. From Lincoln. Right. Watch out. Oh! That's good. I mean, it's spicier than I expected it to be. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a fun it spice, though. It's a nice kick. Yeah, it's good. It's a fun spice. That is banging, now. Dressing, dipping, and adding. Yeah, so there you go. Mango. Mango. What were we yes. going to say, Atom? Right, yeah. Ooh. Um, Atom? Yeah. Now a 10. It is it's right up there for me. I'm saying a 9. Yeah. Like, it's full of flavour. It's not too hot, though. It's like... Absolutely. But there we go. Well, there you go. Uh, I mean, uh, the, it's, it's burning. It's burning now. <laughs> so there you go. It's definitely burning. 100% approval rate go for your uh, little flame hot sauces. There we go. Well, I'm worried. If, I'm, I'm worried if we're starting off like, and that was the easy one. That was the easy one. Oh god. So, <laughs> so, so should we call it there? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Nah, we got to try it. We got to. We got to go up at oh, least another one. Oh, you want to go up one more? Uh, we'll go up one more. We won't go to Reaper though, because I'll kill you for that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this was Scotch bonnet, same pepper, but this time with cayenne. Right. Okay. Right. This is a Glasgow kiss. Glasgow kiss. Glasgow, well, Glasgow, well, Glasgow, Glasgow, Glasgow kiss. Is. <laughs> uh, it's actually like Glasgow. I think it's misunderstood. Is this going to blow my okay. face off? Uh, like Glasgow, it's actually quite nice. <laughs> I think I might have poured quite a lot on the last one, so maybe I'll go for a little. So it's, it's a cayenne, so it's going to be kind of um, like a like a paprika -y kind of, you know. Yeah, yeah. My mouth's gone numb. There's a bit more of a... It's hard to describe the flavour of that, isn't it? For a food yeah. journalist, that's a very bad predicament. Uh, that's all right, that's all right. Yeah, that's a good way. A bit more, it's obviously more tomato wing. Yeah, yeah tomato wing. Like that all over my wings. Yeah, that'd be good wing sauce, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, absolutely. That's no, well, definitely a good wing sauce. Or in like a bolognese. The bolognese to liven it up. I was, I was expecting it to blow my life away, but that, that was not too bad, actually. Uh, it was a Glasgow twist, but it was a sweet kiss on the cheek. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It wasn't yeah. a head bump. There's a li yeah. <laughs> right, on that note, Raptors, amazing to have you here. Fantastic, thank you for having us. Thank you for us, being honestly. on Food Night UK. Enjoy the rest of the festival, guys. Amazing. You too, man. Have an Absolute awesome pleasure. Time. Take care. Cheers. Pleasure. Cheers. Join us next week for way more coming from this 2000 Trees Festival, 2023. It keeps coming, keep it locked. <laughs>